Hey guys, it's Saru. Now, new mount has released for Terra console that I would say is probably the most overpowered mount in Terra history, both PC and console. The Chandra Manaya mount. We're gonna be talking about how it works, how they work actually, because there's three of them, and then there's this normal version. So we're gonna be talking all about that. Let's get right into it. <laughs> So before I talk about this, I really want to thank everyone that's been super supportive in helping me build my PC. It was an expensive toll, and there were so many of you that helped me out with the cost, either through PayPal or through GoFundMe, or you know, either through Patreon or whatever the case. It's been an amazing help. Now, I still am missing my graphics card. As you probably know by now, they are pretty hard to get. But for now, this will have to do. Which is why I haven't really been able to release the It Takes Two video, which I was actually supposed to be doing. But unfortunately, it's just... Everything's just been crazy. My previous PC was crashing all the time, and I just could not do it. So... Terra Console has released something that players have been asking for since I could remember back in 2013. A Chandra Manaya mount. The console team actually took it upon themselves to design and develop the mount for the console version. And it looks great. Now, it's bringing three different versions. The Destructive, Silent, Wind Force, and of course, the normal Chandra Manaya version. So we can call the Destructive, Silent, and Wind Force version the superior versions, while the Chandra Manaya version is just the rare version. So you have Silent Chandra, for example, which gives you 2% HP and MP restoration when you're on her. So only when you're actually on her and just walking around or just chilling in high watch or whatever the case, that's when you'll actually get that restoration. So if you've played Terra a lot, then you know more of the phoenixes, you know the dragons and the worms, things that we've actually played with them. And essentially you always get a 1.5 version and a 2.0 version. And what I mean by that is that there's a chance that you could increase your crit power the output by 2.0 or by 1.5. So for Silent Chandra, it's 2.0. So every time that you're finding a monster or a player or whatever, there is a chance that your crit power will multiply by two. So that's uh, something. In addition to that, you also get Chandra's Protection 2, which actually resets some mounts cooldown. So for example, the Phoenixes, you get some of the dragons. So you can reset those. So if you're using auto res or something like that, then it will reset those cooldowns. The same exact effect is on the Wind Force mount. Now, as for Destructive, this is where it's different. You get Rampage of Chandra 2, which instead of the crit power times 2, it's 2.5. And there's never really been a mount before that actually gives you 2.5 before. It's a uh, first of its kind, and I'm kind of worried about that. But you can trade it around in game if you really want to. So, and the Chandra Protection 2, of course. So, the difference between Chandra Protection 2 and 1 is. Well, I'll tell you in a second here. For example, you have the normal Chandra mount, so the rare one, which instead of the crit power times two, it's 1.5. So instead of two and 2.5, you get 1.5. And you also have protection one. So for example, protection two gives you a one hour cooldown to reuse the skill over and over again every, well, 24 hours, 24 times in a day, because it's once an hour. Whereas protection one is once a day, so every 24 hours. Apart from the fact that she looks amazing in all variants, my favorite being Silent and Destructive, they're easily the strongest mounts in the game. You can reset other mounts cooldowns, for example, like I mentioned, the self res from the Phoenixes, plus it stacks in a way. It's never really been done before because what you're used to is if you have a 2.0 mount and a 1.5 mount, essentially you have the 2.0 mount and you're doing all these abilities and then the 1.5 mount will go on right afterwards. Of course it's a chance anyway, so it's RNG that you will even get it. But yeah, I mean, it's a thing. So for example, here, you have the 2.5. Once that goes off, you have the chance to get into 2.0. And then once that goes off, you have a 1.5. And then you can just repeat it over and over again because there's a cooldown every time. It's actually pretty crazy for people actually pushing out DPS. So I think it's only poetic to use her abilities on the actual Immortal Chandra Manaya, which actually just released on console earlier today, which I guess is the hard mode version of the Resurrect the Manias core dungeon, which is located over in the Island of Dawn. Now as for my thoughts, I think it's really neat that Terra Console is getting its own exclusive mounts. I've always said this, especially when it happened with the dinosaurs. The thing with the dinosaurs was though, that a lot of PC players were upset about it and well, eventually they got the dinosaurs. But we've seen other things that we've gotten as well here exclusively for cosmetics and stuff like that so it's kind of cool but like i said it's pretty neat that we're getting these exclusive mounts but i want to see dungeons that are actually exclusive 
if that makes any sense. For example, right now we have Resurrected Minaya's Core, and for the hard mode version, we have the Immortal version. Now, the only difference here is that basically they've been renamed and they've been moved into a different section. So it used to be in, like, I want to say Grenarchus or something like that, all the way up there, and that's where you would go. But now it's actually down in Island of Dawn. Now, the Manias Core dungeons are still up there because you used to do it for, like, level 60 and stuff like that, but. It's just basically renamed, copied, and just a different thing, and rebalanced, essentially. So I am hoping in the future, in the very near future, that we'll be seeing way more dungeons that are actually brand new, that players can't actually look at guides at, they're not really prepared about it, brand new mechanics we've never seen before. The biggest problem with Terra PC is that when they do release new dungeons, they're basically reusing a monster and just reskinning it, which I understand because you're pretty much saving a lot of money when you're doing that instead of starting from scratch, but you're also redoing a lot of the mechanics. You're reusing them, rather, not redoing them. But sometimes you add like an extra mechanic, one or two, that makes it a little bit different, but it's essentially the exact same boss that you fought over and over again over the years. So I'm hoping they'll scrap that, and I know the team's pretty small, but I'm hoping they will scrap that and just, you know, do something new. So yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on it. I'm hoping that they'll go into a more Terra Console, you know, place here and actually work on exclusivity there with dungeons and stuff like that, instead of just kind of reskinning stuff. But anyways. On a final thought on that, I do hope if they do do that, that it will be an actual rewarding experience for all endgame players, because right now, I know endgame players are not really happy because, well, they've been basically doing the same dungeons over and over again for many, many months, sometimes years if you really think of just dungeons that are being re-released over and over again, just rebalanced, so, yeah. Anyways, back to the point. Chandra Manaya, their new mounts are here, they're on the loot boxes, unfortunately, I hate loot boxes. But there are in the loot boxes. If you're not a fan of loot boxes like myself, you can also buy them on the trade broker from another player if they're selling terror coins. So essentially they would trade you the item and you would give them the gold equivalent, I guess. And uh, yeah. What do you guys think about this mount? I mean, I think it's cool, but I hope Terra will up its game because there's so much potential in this game. And I feel like I've said that so many times over the last three years that I've had this channel. And I don't know, I feel like it's not really being put to use. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Anyways, guys, we'll talk in the comments below. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and click that adorable f***ing bell to know when I upload a brand new video. And don't forget to come join my Discord if you want to chat and hang out. Much love and as always, till next time, friends.